Okay, let's start today's luxury webinar. A big thank you to everybody for joining us. We have got a couple of people live in resort today. So I'm going to let you guess who that is. I'm not going to introduce them just yet. Um, I'm going to introduce, first of all, Hannah. Hannah, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is today, please. Hi, I'm Hannah, Business Development Manager at Calabash in Grenada. I am not on property at the moment, but this <laughs> behind me is a view of our beach on property. And the prize today is, you might have to remind me of it. <laughs> 50 pounds, 60 dollars, depending on where in the world you are. And it'll be yen paid onto the reward program. Thank you, Hannah. It's nice to see you. And um, that beach looks amazing. Um, I'd also, okay, Natalia, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Do you need an introduction? Um, over to you. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. So glad to be with you today. Um, it's a special occasion because I get to be joining you live from Serenity at Coconut Bay in Paradise in St. Lucia. And because we have this unique opportunity today, normally I'd be coming to you from an office. I also have Zachary Frangos, our general manager, who will be coming to you live from a suite, which will be fabulous. And then our hotel manager will be joining me shortly. So we've got some unique opportunities today, excited to share with you. Um, and our prize today is 50 pounds, $60. So listen up. Super, thank you very much. We've also got Charlotte. Charlotte, hello. Hi, Tell Sarah. Sadly, <laughs> I'm in a slightly less exotic location. I'm in the UK. Um, my name's Charlotte Drew. I'm the UK rep for Beckway Beach Hotel. And today my prize is 50 pounds or $60. Super amazing. We've also got Andrea from Cambridge Beaches, but it looks like she's just, we've just lost her. Um, Andrea, are you there? No, I think she's, she'll come back in. She's having, she was having problems with her connection. Um, Charlotte, I'm going to ask you to start. I know you was meant to go last, but I'm going to hand over to you first, if that's okay. You can take us all to Beckway. Absolutely, Sarah. Okay, perfect. Hopefully everybody can see that. Sarah's giving me a thumbs up. That's good to see. Um, so hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I mentioned, my name is Charlotte. I'm UK based um, sales representation for beautiful Beckway Beach Hotel. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of a whistle stop tour of the island of Beckway and all the resort has to offer. Oops. Um, let me see if I can, sorry. Oh, uh, what's happened? <laughs> Seems to have stopped scrolling. Oh dear. Um, sorry, bear with me one moment. Let's try that again. Apologies. Your, um, your cursor was moving around. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there, Sarah. Um, okay. Um, there we go. Perfect. OK, so beautiful Beckway. It might be an island that you're less familiar with. Um, so to start with, I'll start with this handy map. So Beckway is a little lightning bolt shaped island. It's located in the southern Caribbean. It's part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So you can see it there nestled on the map. So it's um, like I said, it's very small. It's only seven miles um, squared in, in size and it's only got a population of 5,000 people. So despite perhaps being an island you're less familiar with, it's got really easy transport links from both North America and from the UK. So um, I'll talk you through the options of getting to Beckway. So the main gateway hub is Barbados. So there's lots of obviously non-stop flights across the course of the week into Barbados. And then once you get to Barbados, you have a choice. You can either use SVG Air, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Airlines, which operates year round and is just a short hop from Barbados to Beckway or even better, and I'll give you some more information on this, as part of the hotel portfolio, we actually have our own nine-seater luxury aircraft, which operates during the peak season, connecting both Barbados and St. Lucia to Beckway for same day arrival. So once you land at say Barbados airport, it's super easy. You're met by a named representative, which will have a paddle board with your client's names clearly displayed. They'd be ushered through, all of their luggage would be loaded onto the aircraft, 
and then there'll be same day arrival onto Beckway. We usually depart at 5 p.m. The reason for that, um, I should mention, is we don't have any landing lights on Beckway, unfortunately. So you are kind of governed to um, fly during the hours of daylight, but it's only a short hop. So Barbados is 26 minutes flight time. St. Lucia is even less. And we've got a handy um, online portal. So you can see at a glance what days Beckway Air operates and crucially the number of seats available because obviously being a nine seat aircraft, it can get quite booked up. So this is beautiful Beckway Air, it's a King Air, as you can see, really luxuriously appointed. Um, and like I said, it's only a short hop and you can easily facilitate same day arrival into resort. So back to the island. So people often ask what makes Beckway so special? The best way I'd describe um, Beckway really is the Caribbean of yesteryear. It's got loads of authentic charm. It's very unspoilt. Um, it just feels a bit more kind of remote and undiscovered. And it has a real charm and relaxed atmosphere as soon as you touch down. So the hotel itself is located on this lovely white sand beach of Friendship Bay. It's a small boutique hotel. So it's privately owned and operated by a Swedish family called the Morstead family. Uh, Mr. Morstead Sr. discovered Beckway sort of 20 years ago when he was sailing, absolutely fell in love with the island, its people and slice of paradise really, and became an accidental hotelier ever since. So this is the main pool. And then during um, lockdown, we actually built this second saltwater infinity pool. So I believe this is the only saltwater infinity pool on St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So you have your choice of two swimming pools to laze by and sip something delicious. And out on the horizon, you can actually make out our neighboring island of Mustique on a clear day. So really recommend doing a bit of island hopping if you can as well. So Mustique is, um, is our neighbor, so a great island to go and explore. Property, as I said, it's kind of that throwback chic. Um, it's very homely, very unpretentious. I think the beauty is you get really high levels of service that a lot of our guests come back to us year after year because they just think, oh, it feels like my second home. My shoulders drop a little bit more when I um, arrive in Beck where it really is a special place. So this is where um, the library sort of the library reception area is. We do a weekly manager's cocktail party, which is really nice for guests to mingle and get to know the owners who are often um, on Ireland as well and obviously senior members of the team some of which have been with us for over 12 years so since we first opened. So in terms of the accommodation um, the beautiful beachfront suites um, we've only got 58 keys in total so we have 28 of these so um, they're the most popular category as you can see really nicely appointed they all have private balconies um, so uninterrupted sea views and you're just steps away from that gorgeous friendship bay. So you can see lots of rattan, lots of um, local materials are used. You also notice we don't actually have any TVs in our rooms. So that was a conscious decision by the owners, but you will be relieved to hear um, that we do have super fast Wi-Fi actually. So um, obviously you can still get online, do some streaming. It does support that. So a great spot to have your morning coffee. So you have the lovely sunrises on this side of the island on Friendship Bay. We also have some private pool villas as well. So these are two bedroom plunge pool villas. Um, so little sort of cheerful Caribbean cottages, um, lots of like unique features. We don't really have any cookie cutter rooms at the hotel. They're all very personable, personalized um, design, which makes them feel really homely. So these have the little plunge pools, they have kitchenettes, great for families or great for people who are looking for a little bit more space. We've also got the estate villa. So this is nestled slightly up on the hills um, overlooking Friendship Bay. Um, as you can see, it's got that gorgeous wraparound terrace and a really sizable pool. So again, great for families. We're a very family friendly hotel. We have a complimentary kids club, which runs year round. We can also arrange for babysitting um, as well. So by all means, great to recommend to families. In terms of food and drink, you've got your classic Caribbean beach bar. So this is set right on the beach there. So we do all day informal dining here, obviously a great cocktail list. And we also serve breakfast at Bagatelle restaurants. So that's adjacent to the beach bar. Um, and in the evenings, it transforms into more of a sort of fine dining restaurant. Lots of um, fresh seafood is kind of 
um, catch of the day. They do a fantastic lobster buffet night as well, which I highly recommend and views out to sea. On site, despite being a small property, we've also got a second restaurant, Blue Tropic. So this is more sort of Italian Mediterranean flavors and it's nestled up um, slightly up in the hill just next to that estate villa that I showed you. And then on the other side of the island, so as I mentioned, Betquay is really easy to navigate being so um, small. So nothing's really more than 10 to 15 minutes away by a taxi, but we do offer a complimentary guest shuttle to Jax. So Jax is a bit of a Betquay institution. I highly recommend a visit to Jax, even if you're not staying with us. Um, it's a really fun atmosphere. So it's on Princess Margaret Beach on the other side of the island. Um, there's live music, all day food, a real sort of melting pot. So you have a lot of locals, expats, yachties come in on this side. It's the Caribbean side of the islands, the Caribbean Sea. So super calm, great for swimming, um, a real sand between your toes type experience. Um, the lobster mac and cheese and the PM burger are my personal favorites. So um, so do check out Jack's. Um, as I said, you have the signing privileges there if you're an in-house guest. And we do a complimentary shuttle that leaves at 10 a.m., comes back at four. But if you want to travel there outside of that time, then like I said, taxis are really easy to, um, to get and it takes 10 to 15 minutes. So that's the sunset um, at Jack's because it's the other side of the island. So um, really great place to have a sundowner. Back at the resort, we do have a small spa as well. And we do complimentary yoga as well. So this is in the lovely um, open air yoga pavilion. We've also got an air conditioned gym and a couple of treatment rooms as well. And as I mentioned earlier, it's really great to try and explore some of the grenadines and um, use Betquay as a bit of a starting point for exploration. So there's some great itineraries that we could come up with. So you could charter a yacht, you could do a day trip to Mystique, you could go to Tobago Keys, fantastic snorkeling, diving, round of golf at nearby Canwan. Um, so there's lots of, um, lots of options to explore the grenadines. And then finally, I just wanted to touch on our really beautiful, super luxury new villas, um, which are called Grenadine Hills. So these are located about two kilometers from the main resort. We offer a complimentary guest shuttle, and this is really something special, nothing else like it on Beckway. Um, so there's two super luxury villas. This is the first one, Villa One, the slightly larger of the two villas. So. Um, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's about 7,000 square foot of living space. You've got that gorgeous infinity pool. And as it's nestled up in the hills, it's, it's super private. So you're not overlooked by anyone. So really beautiful design, open plan. Um, great for families. We've actually hosted some family reunions where um, guests have traveled from both North America and the UK. And they've all kind of um, met up in Beckway and that's worked really well. You can either be self-catered or we can help arrange for private chef as well. So chef's a really talented guy. He can cook any sort of cuisine your um, heart desires, really everything from sort of local Caribbean flavors. He's done sushi night. Um, so that can be added on or equally you can dip in and out of the, um, the resort facilities as well. So it really is the best of both worlds. So beautifully appointed and look at those views out to sea. Um, gorgeous bedroom so like I said a bit more kind of minimal than the main hotel and great for families so something really special Grenadine Hill so if you have that VIP client who's looking for kind of the privacy of a villa but still being sort of attached to the amenities of a of a resort then do bear us in mind this is a second villa so this is Coral Hill so slightly smaller four to five bedrooms but really well appointed and um, they've got a private um screening room in there, there's a private gym suite. I'm getting a walkthrough video made. So as soon as that's live, um, that will be on the site as well. But there is a dedicated website, grenadinehills.com. You can find floor plans and lots more information on that as well. So yeah, I'll just leave you with a few images from this stunning villa. <laughs> and that's it from me, it's a bit of a whistle stop tour, but if anyone has any questions, I'm more than happy to, to answer those too. <laughs> Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much, Charlotte. I'm loving seeing Beckway. It just gets more beautiful every single time I see it. So um, 
We have got a couple of questions that have come in for you in chat, uh, in the Q&A, um, and just make sure that there's nothing you've missed during chat, because um, I know a few questions were coming up there as well. So a massive thank you, Charlotte. Hope you was all listening carefully. She has got a question to ask you all at the very, very end. So now, without further ado, Natalia is chomping at the bit. She's live at Serenity <laughs> at Coconut Bay. She's got the team with her. She's doing a go live. So Natalia, the stage is yours. All right. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. We have the unique opportunity to be live on resort in Serenity. Unfortunately, Megan, who is our UK rep, couldn't join us. She's under the weather. But that gave us the opportunity for you to see us right here live in paradise. We have a beautiful cocktail ready and waiting. Of course, we've got some St. Lucian rum to share. So let's go ahead and get started. And we've got the team with us who is going to be glad to show you our um, suites in person. So let's get started. So today we are live in Serenity, of course. Um, Serenity is our luxury suite property um, in the south of St. Lucia. And for those of you that are not familiar with our location, we are just a short four and a half hour flight from JFK. Sorry, Sarah. Italia, you to... Sorry, can you just put it onto um, the presenter mode because we, we can sure. we can't see it properly sure is that better uh that's the one super thank okay, you sorry no to interrupt no problem um so it's a four and a half hour flight from jfk nine hour flight from london we'll talk a little bit more um about the ways to get here very shortly really excited to have chris chin with me this morning our hotel manager as well um, so good morning again, good afternoon, everyone. So why St. Lucia? Let's jump right in. For those of you that are not familiar, St. Lucia is a romance island. We're voted the world's leading honeymoon destination 13 times. The destination itself has won several accolades and awards, but Serenity, our luxury suite property, has its own amenities as well and its own list of accolades too. So we are just located just a short five minutes from Hiwanora. And what that means for your clients is they don't lose their day of arrival or their day of departure in a really long airport transfer. And not only are we located close to the airport, but we are also located close to all of the island's top attractions. And I mentioned just like our destination has won many awards, this resort as a luxury suite resort has also won some pretty serious accolades. We've been featured in the USA Today 10 Best three years now. We've been featured in Lux Life. But the award that we are most proud of and that Chris and his team are most proud of is being in the TripAdvisor Best of the Best. And this year, just four weeks ago, it was announced that Serenity is the number one luxury resort in the Caribbean on TripAdvisor. We are very, very proud of that. And when you go to TripAdvisor, you can see that. So let's talk about the Serenity experience. 36 luxury suites. It's all plunge pool butler suites. They range in size from 1,200 to 1,900 square feet of interior and exterior space. They all have private plunge pools with waterfalls. And now I'm going to go live to Zach. Zach, you're right there at our suite. Take us through a suite, please. Hi everyone, I'm Zachary Frangos, General Manager of Coconut Bay Beach Resort and of Serenity. And I'm here today to show you our grand luxury suite. This is the suite that Natalia was talking about, one of. This is a combination inside and outdoor living of 1,900 square feet. So one thing that you'll see immediately when you come in is all the appointments and the spaciousness. From the Zach, sorry, just bear with me. Natalia, can you stop sharing, please? Now go, Zach, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Are we ready? Yeah, we can all see you now. Okay, fantastic. So this is the room I was talking about. It's a total of 1,900 square feet indoor and outdoor space. You've got this beautiful plunge pool with a waterfall feature. You also have our hammock. You have an outdoor shower. So truly, you can just relax out here. And one of the most spectacular things it works when you're here on your honeymoon or relaxing. This is um, a touchless experience if you have room service. The way it is, we've got a little area, the food will go in, then we pull it out. So you never have to be disturbed. Literally, your food will be brought in from outside, you pick it up, and you're good to go. Now, all the rooms have our wet bars and our, and our suite uh, with the butlers. They will customize anything on your arrival. 
your cocktails, um, any champagne, uh, whatever you need. We even write down to a pillow menu if you have anything specific. Um, and the one thing I love, we can even do in-room dining. The chef can, oh. So it's important to hydrate while you're uh, on island. They always tell you that. So cheers everybody, because I know in the UK it's, it's uh, late in the afternoon. Cheers. Um, right now we're gonna go into our luxury suite. But what I was saying, the butlers can set up in suite dining. Our chefs can come and prepare any of your meals and have that really romantic experience and cater to all your needs. So come on in. This is our suite. We have obviously all the furniture here is made on island with uh, local woods. Uh, the one thing that we also have is our in suite. We've got um, here, we do have a television that I will show you from uh, the, as it comes up, one of the items. So if those uh, mornings or those uh, mornings when you've really celebrated too much, you really don't want to get out of bed. You can just stay here and the TV will come to you if that's what you want. We have a fantastic Wi-Fi and the bandwidth is huge. So you can uh, kind of enjoy it. If you have to answer emails or get online, you can do that. Uh, one of my favorite items is over here. While you're laying in bed, if you really want to have that experience of um, enjoying the outside come to you, you can absolutely relax and enjoy all of this. So it really gives you a great sense. You hear the waterfall and it just kind of calms you down as you're uh, ready to go to bed. We have all in-room ice makers. So uh, one thing I will tell you while it's on, um, we'll make as much ice as you want. Um, at night, I would turn it off. <laughs> we have wonderful soaking tubs. Our butler's been putting your, uh, your salts, whatever you want to do, set it up. We have our showers here, um, dual sinks. But really something interesting, his and her closets, or your little makeup table in the back. So we can really uh, create this whole living experience. And I believe once, you, once you're here, uh, many of our guests, they, they never want to leave. They always tell us that. And a lot will always rebook and come back after they've had their honeymoon. They want to come back. So it's great to have this opportunity to host you all and to show you what Serenity is all about. Looking forward to seeing anybody come soon or if you're going to book it for any of your guests or any of your clients please rest assured they're in good hands with us. All right, thank you, Zach. Zach and our camera lady, Mia, are gonna move on to another spot and I am going to go back to my presentation real quick. So as we're plunging through. So Zach showed you the plunge pool suite. You saw um, you know, the amenities, the bathrooms, which is really great, but continuing on with the experience in Serenity. Of course, it's butler service, 24 hour room service. Um, the dining experiences for Serenity guests are endless because we do have a main restaurant here, which is the great house, but Serenity guests get a stay at one, play at two experience, um, meaning Serenity guests can enjoy all of Coconut Bay amenities, but it does not go vice versa. Um, due to time, I'm going to skip the video, um, although it does, well, because we have to allow time for Zach and Mia to get to where they're going. But speaking of the dining experiences in Serenity, so I mentioned we have the Great House, which is the main restaurant. Guests of Serenity, again, have stay at one, play at two. So Serenity guests can enjoy all of Coconut Bay amenities, which is our sister resort, but it does not go vice versa. So for that dining experience, Serenity guests can dine inside the Great House. They can dine outside the Great House. They can dine in a pool cabana, which you happen to see behind me. They can dine in a beach cabana which Zach and me are going to show you very shortly, or they can dine at any of the eight restaurants at Coconut Bay. So the dining experiences are absolutely indulgent. Now, today I'm coming to you from the Serenity Bar, and we have two Serenity Bars where our, your clients can get any of their favorite top shelf liquors. They can have a colorful cocktail. They can have a Chairman's Reserve. They can have a Piton, which is the rum of St. Lucia. So lots of endless options. Around the pool deck are excellent options as well. The dining, the bars, the cocktails. Now this shows you 
that Serenity Beach Cabana. And I'm gonna give Zach and Mia time to get up there, but we will be coming to you live from a Serenity Beach Cabana shortly. And Zach, let me know when you guys are there and I will continue to go through. So the butlers really do cater to that Serenity experience. We have a butler pre-arrival form on our website. We highly encourage that either you complete that butler pre-arrival form for your guests or that you have the guests complete it. And why that butler pre-arrival form really makes a difference, and Chris can tell you this, is so that the butlers can reach out to the guests in advance of arrival and make sure they customize their experiences and their stay. Because Chris, a honeymooner, their agenda is going to be really different than someone oh, yeah. who's celebrating a 20-year anniversary, oh, yeah. right? And so that butler pre-arrival form really does make all the difference. But going back to that serenity experience, of course, I mentioned they can dine at any of any of the areas here on resort, indoors or outdoors, or because we share space with Coconut Bay, Serenity guests can enjoy all of Coconut Bay amenities as well, which is our sister resort. So what that means is the Serenity guests get to dine next door if they choose to, right? right. And the butler will take care of those reservations when the time comes. Now, Sister Resort Coconut Bay does have eight restaurants and seven bars and five pools and a water park. And yesterday I met one of your honeymoon couples and they were heading over to the water park to hang out. So that's a great opportunity. Again, that stay at one, play at two experience. In addition, um, we also uh, we are on 85 acres and one mile of beach, and we have extensive amenities for all of our your guests, your clients to enjoy. So tennis courts, basketball courts, pickleball is new pickleball, um, beach volleyball, pool volleyball. We have rum tasting right here on resort every week. Snorkeling, kayaking, and stand-up paddle boarding are included. So the activities and amenities for Serenity guests here in Serenity are extensive, but they can also enjoy all of the activities and amenities available at Coconut Bay right. as well. Our sanctuary spa. Our sanctuary spa is oceanfront and for Serenity guests, they don't even have to step foot all the way over in the spa. The spa will come to them. So they can have in-suite spa therapies um, right in the comfort of their suite and their butler will be happy to arrange that. And Zach, I see you are there at the Beach Cabana. So I'm gonna stop share and let you speak for just a moment and then we're gonna wrap up. Hi everybody. So here we are at our Beach Cabana. We have five private Beach Cabanas for the Serenity guests. And it sits literally, I'm going to tell you, about 25 feet from the ocean. Um, you've got these spectacular views. You've got the Maria Island, La Petite Island. Uh, Serenity has its own hammocks uh, for the guests to come and relax with the sounds of the waves crashing on them. You've got your own separate little lounge chairs. You've got this lovely bed just to sit back and relax on. We'll cater lunch for you. Uh, every man gets a custom of drinks, beverages of your choice. We have a mile of beach. So you can go explore and enjoy any part of this as part of the Serenity experience. And always know that you are going to be pampered, catered to, and the butlers will make sure that your entire experience is flawless and seamless. So thank you all so much. All right, thank you, Zach. I'm gonna go back to my presentation so we can wrap up as quickly as possible. Um, so you can see here, Serenity guests, the spa will come to them. But since I'm here on resort, I have a unique opportunity to have our hotel manager talk to you about what that Serenity entertainment experience looks like for your clients when they're sending them here. Hello. So we have, a, apart from the, the unique and romantic suites and the gourmet dining, we love to help you create memories and your clients to create memories. So we offer a lot of couples activities and some of the finest St. Lucian entertainment. Um, that ranges from Barbara Cadet to Rob Z. Taylor to many other headliners. And these, these are real headliners. They play our St. Lucia jazz festivals, and we're happy to have them here on our resort to, to entertain you and your clients. Um, we offer um, couples activities because we love um, for couples just to bond and take that time to just connect with each other. And um, we offer uh, paints and punch classes, which are is our twist on our sip and paint uh, kind of vibe. Uh, we also have complimentary um, wine tasting. 
uh, which are Somalia picks from our, ex our exclusive um, extensive wine list, um, hand picks the bottles for you to taste and sample. Uh, we do offer uh, full cabanas <laughs> <laughs> dinners, uh, which is very relaxing. You get to lay back and enjoy a five course meal uh, at your own pace. There you go. Just like photo on screen, right, Chris? Yeah, very, that's it. Um, and what you saw previously was our rum and food fest. So um, St. Lucia, well, this one is our chocolate and bubbles event. Uh, we have happier hour uh, on a daily basis. And this is where we offer um, fine champagne and chocolates made from our chocolates here, um, right here on property. Um, and Friday nights, we have our rum and food fed, which is a luxury version of um, our the local street party that usually happens in Groselay, but we put a luxury touch on it and exclusive service. And it's just a very fun event. We have um, rums that are featured. Uh, we can do tastings from the distillery. So it's just a, a very good experience and it's a perfect balance to help your clients find serenity. Good. All right. Thank you, Chris. So excellent entertainment and amenity items. And yesterday I saw sushi making class, oh, yes. which is a really great opportunity for your clients to enjoy on resort as well. As we wrap up, the one thing I don't want to make sure I want to make sure I don't forget about is Serenity has its own luxury wedding package, the Sapphire package where they have a private catamaran to do their ceremony or their vow renewal. And they have the pitons as their backdrop. So the Sapphire wedding package is a really cool opportunity for those of you that book direct with Serenity, your clients will have an opportunity for $1,200 in added value vacation inclusions with a seven night stay. That is not a resort credit, it is legitimate added value. It includes an in-suite couples massage, a private island tour, a catamaran sunset cruise and more. So as we wrap up the top Serenity selling facts, you wanna be mindful of the space of the suite, the courtesy of the butlers, and, you know, the butlers really do cater to that individual customized experience. And then remember our location, proximity to the airport. This gives you an idea of how our two resorts are laid out. When you come in from that short ride from the airport, you go to the left Serenity, you go to the right Coconut Bay. Serenity suites are not oceanfront, but it's 150 steps to the beach. But as you saw with Zach and Mia, our guests do not have to walk to the beach. The butler will take them quickly in a golf cart to their very own oceanfront beach cabana. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk very quickly about the many non-beachfront activities there are to do on our gorgeous island in St. Lucia. So snorkeling, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, ATV tours to a white sand beach, our very famous mud baths, our beautiful waterfalls, of course seeing the pitons, and wrapping up, the most important thing you need to know as the agents is we support our travel agent, travel advisor community. We support you with commission and we support you with rewards. And Sarah's telling me my time is up. So thank you everyone so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you soon in our piece of paradise. Thank you very much, Natalia. No, I was just getting excited over your rewards because they are absolutely super. So um, da -da, thank you. That, that presentation was amazing. Um, thank you to Chris and to Zachary for the uh, for the amazing go live. So thank you, Natalia. Much appreciated. OK, so we're now hopping over to Grenada. We've got Hannah. Hannah, hello. 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 I well, see your little piece of paradise, too. Right, so just a few fun facts before I get into it. Um, we are a family owned and run hotel and I'm extended family to the owners. So there's about six of us involved in the day-to-day -day operations. So we really mean family owned and run. Um, we're also part of the Relay and Chateau collection and Virtuoso Preferred Hotel. And we're in the Amex FHR program as well. So let's get into it. I'm sure you're all mostly aware of where Grenada is situated in the Caribbean, right at the bottom of the chain of islands, just above Trinidad, below St. Lucia and St. Vincent and southwest of Barbados. What you may not know is this puts us below the hurricane belt, so it makes us a safe destination to visit year round and we do have wonderful warm summer weather throughout. We're of course known for our spices pictured on the map here, so nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, among others. And it's said you can actually smell the spices in the air as you walk around. In terms of getting to Grenada, we have BA flying from Gatwick three times a week, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and Virgin from Heathrow on Tuesdays and Fridays. And on the American side, JetBlue daily from New York with a weekly flight from Boston starting in November. 
and then American Daily from Miami with a weekly flight from Charlotte as well. So a quick snap snapshot of the property. It's eight acres set on a beautiful white sand beach that feels private because of its seclusion, although all our beaches are public. There are 30 suites. Our laden is the West Side. Then we have the Junior, Deluxe, Superior, Deluxe, Pool, and Penthouse. We have three restaurants, three bars, a spa, a fitness room. We offer weekly in-house activities, which I'll mention later. We have a full dive and water sports center, two floodlit tennis courts, and a boutique. So we cater primarily to honeymooners, couples, foodies, and active families with children 10 and over. As we don't have a kids club, we are better suited to older children, but our concierge team can assist in arranging kids activities for the families. And I'll also mention that we only allow children over 12 from 15th January to 15th March each year. So this is a general layout of the property. The suites are all facing the sea in a horseshoe shape, or some may say it's like two arms extending for a big hug, which is quite fitting given the intimate family feel of the hotel. And now we'll take a look into some of our suites, starting with our most recently renovated, the penthouse suite. So this was redone just last year with quite a modern uplift in the furniture and fittings with a private outdoor pool and shower. And there's a little tour of the room. All right, so as you can see, it's really the ultimate luxury experience in our penthouse suite, but all of our suites really. So next we have the Superior Deluxe Suite, which was also renovated last year. It's just below the penthouse, so it actually interconnects with it. And it used to be in our deluxe category, but because of its new facelift, we decided to create a whole new category for it. It has some wonderful fittings in the bathroom as well, large tub, double vanity. And then here we have our pool suite living room with garden views and the sea just beyond. And then the private pool is neatly tucked away at the back of it. For this year's renovation project, we are planning to work on the interiors of the pool suites and the west side suites are lead in to make them a bit more in line with the design of the penthouse and superior deluxe. Um, the plan is to upgrade all our suites eventually. Uh, we just can't do it all in our two-month closures, so we'll hopefully get to the others next year. Now, I'll just mention some of our amenities, and one of our most unique attributes is breakfast served on your suites patio or balcony. So you just fill out a form the night before, and your breakfast is made to order and delivered to your suite. So there's no need to get up and get dressed to go to a restaurant. But for those who don't mind doing that, we do have the option of a la carte breakfast served at our beach club restaurant. And you can get a table set up right on the sand for a full toes in the sand experience. So either way you choose, it's a great way to start your day. Our beach club also serves lunch daily with an extensive menu and it features some really delicious tapas and, and larger plates as well. And dinner is an elegant affair at our Rhodes restaurant with live soft entertainment every evening, except for Tuesdays, which is when we have our grill night, and then Thursdays when we have our Caribbean night, both of which are at the Beach Club restaurant and accompanied by live steel pan music. So it gives a more casual, lively option to the more formal dinner at Rhodes. Our chefs incorporate local seasonal produce in the menu, so this really helps to reduce wastage and promote sustainability. So our most recent food and beverage addition is the Izakaya restaurant. This was added during our closure last year. 
ezekaya is a type of informal Japanese bar. And so our take on this concept combines Japanese and Latin inspired dishes using local produce and seafood. So it's located beside our main pool and offers a more casual dining alternative to roads as well. Now, if you wanted an extra special dining experience for your clients celebrating a birthday or anniversary, we also offer private beach dinners with only one per night. So it's truly a private and romantic experience under the stars with the backdrop of the boats gently swaying in the bay. We're bordered by this wonderful white sand beach with lots of space. We have a number of lounges. So even when the hotel is full, it never really feels crowded because there's just enough space and lounges for everyone to enjoy themselves. Um, in this bay, you can snorkel or kayak or sail on a Hobie cat and our non-motorized water sports are included in the rate or you can always book a more adventurous snorkeling or diving excursion with our on-site dive center. Our pool is most relaxing, overlooking the beautiful garden, as you see. Its design is well suited for guests who may like to stay active and swim laps, but then for those who just want to lounge and relax and keep cool, we have those lounges sitting right in the pool, which really is the ultimate luxury. Our spa is really highly rated and offers a wide range of treatments from massages and body wraps and facials to manicures and pedicures. We have a really excellent team who just continuously receive lots of praise. So if any of your clients are on holiday with us, the spa is a must do. We have two floodlit tennis courts, so it's quite convenient to play at any time of day, and we do provide the rackets and tennis balls at reception. So while on property, our guests can partake in our weekly activities, which include rum tasting, chocolate tasting, a cooking demonstration, fruit tasting, and complimentary yoga classes, or they may like to go out and experience the island. So there's a number of activities on island from hiking, kayaking, sailing, snorkeling, diving, off-roading, visiting lakes and waterfalls and chocolate and rum factories, or even an estate tour like the estate pictured here, which is actually our family owned and run estate. And it harvests nutmeg, cocoa, and a wide range of other spices, fruits, vegetables, and herbs, which supply the hotel. So that is also an option. And then we, you can also kick back and relax on one of our many beautiful white sand beaches. We recently introduced our very own app, which can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. It's called Calabash Grenada. So anyone can download it. But once you are a confirmed guest, you can use your booking confirmation to log in and start planning your trip. So there's lots of information on the hotel and the island on it. And then you can book your dining reservations and island excursions and view your full itinerary on the app. We have a few fabulous special offers I just wanted to mention. So the first is if you book bed and breakfast for four more nights, you get a complimentary upgrade to half board. So essentially free, free dinner throughout your stay or you can book on half board and get a complimentary upgrade to all inclusive, which is an even greater deal for those who may not plan to dine out. This is valid now and for travel up to the end of October on a minimum of four nights and then from May to October next year as well. But I'll just mention that our closure dates this year are from the 26th of July and we reopen on the 4th of October and then we close August and September next year as well. And then we have our newly released offer for the winter, where if you book for a minimum of four nights, you'll receive $400 resort credit. And for every additional night, you earn $100 credit per night. So it's a really great deal. And we do hope it helps to encourage some early winter bookings. Thanks for listening. That's it for me. I hope you learned something new. And I'm happy to answer any questions.
Super, thank you very much, Hannah. Amazing to see the property as well. Um, and I know today you're standing in, um, so this is your first webinar you've done with us. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, Definitely. So, excellent. So last but not least, Andrea's back. Andrea, I did briefly introduce you um, before you got oh, thank you. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what your prize is today, and the stage is yours. Yeah. Um... Sorry, I've muted you by accident. I was trying to mute somebody else. All right, start again. <laughs> I'm Andrea Hobb. Um, I'm representing Cambridge Beaches. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that resort. Um, I've got a shopping voucher to give away um, as a prize later on. So let's um, dive straight in and tell you a little bit about Bermuda. If I can get my to go next. Okay. So. Oh, to be part of the Caribbean. The island actually um, is a hundred miles north of the Bahamas in a beautiful stretch of the Atlantic um, and it's about 650 miles east of North Carolina. You can get flights from New York and the other eastern US um, cities which are typically under two hours. From Heathrow there are daily flights and um, they take about seven hours. So for customers from the UK looking for that mid-haul um, option, Bermuda is um, something that you might want to consider. And another option that you might want to think about is maybe twinning it with um, New York and Bos or Boston, and you've got a great city beach experience. More importantly is the weather in Bermuda. Um, it's actually different seasonality to the Caribbean. So our high season is actually April to October and our low season is November through March. Um, the summer is a great option, particularly for honeymooners who may want to avoid the rainy seasons in the Indian Ocean and the Caribbean. And the winter is, is great option for golfers or sightseers. So a little bit about Cambridge Beaches. We're um, situated in the west of the island, about a 45 minute transfer from the airport. A cost um, in a six seater taxi will, is about $75 one way. And what makes our resort special? Um, we're situated on this amazing peninsula. So all the rooms have fantastic views of either the Atlantic or Mangrove Bay. We're also very different from our competitor hotels and we consider our competitor hotels to be Hamilton Princess, the St Regis, the Rosewood and the Resort and why I say we're different is that we're located or all the rooms are located in these lovely pink cottages and the whole concept of Cambridge Beaches um, is to create a home away from home and as you can see on the map um, all the accommodations, they all have these um, different names. So if you do get a repeat customer, um, they may ask you for one of these names and, and that explains to you, um, you know, what it's all about. So you can go through to reservations and request that room type and we'll do our best to accommodate it. So there's no official star rating in Bermuda, but we position ourselves as a five star resort. Our main competitors, like I said, are the Rosewood, St. Regis, the Reef and the Hamilton Princess. And aside from the physical differences that I've mentioned in that we have our, the cottage style, the, the other hotels tend to be um, more formal looking resorts. But our main advantage is that we have an abundance of facilities um, all on site, as you can see from the slide. Um, including a full service marina. We have the only heated indoor pool at a resort hotel, and we've got four private beaches to explore. Um, and some of the other competitor hotels aren't actually on the beach, so be mindful of that. And um, we've also just gone through a multi million dollar reimagining of the resort. And so all the decor has been really thought through um, to give this home um, from home feeling. But it's all been um, done um, relevant to Bermuda. Not one room is the same, which is a, a, a bit tricky sometimes in terms of size and shape. They're all very different, um, but they do all have amazing views. 
And if if your customer would like um, the sunrise um, view, they should request Mangrove Bay. But if they want a sunset view, we recommend accommodations facing Long Bay. We, we cannot always guarantee um, the, to accommodate the, re, the request, but we do our best to, um, to do so. And you'll see as well that we've got um, different room types and suites which will sleep from two to nine people. So who are we targeting? Um, with so many different rooms and suites, um, couples tend to be our main focus. But now we've got a lot of two and three bedroom options. We're also going after the family market. But I do have to stress that um, it, it's really families with children um, who are not looking for a kids club um, because we don't have a kids club. We don't have like um, a small pool for the children, um, but we do have lots of activities like croquet, putting green, tennis courts, athletic area. So I would say from um, eight years plus um, who, um, are the children who perhaps can enjoy the water sports and playing those sort of activities. Another reason um, why I think we're special is that we're one of the only resorts on the island um, with pool villas. Um, we only have three of these, but we're, and we're looking to put a few more in place. But at the moment, we only have three. But it, again, it's a great option for that honeymoon market. And they also have these amazing views over um, the ocean. So my recommendation would be um, for customers to go on half board. Um, the reason I say that is that there's really no um, local rest restaurants which they can walk to. We have the Naval Dot Yard 10 minutes drive away um, and there's a couple of restaurants there, but I do suggest like the half board. Um, and um, in the summer, the, um, the guests can dine at the Sunken Harbour Club um, which takes the form of um, a, a dockside uh, cabin um, and um, a cocktail bar. And the food there is absolutely amazing. And then we've also got breezes open from April to October, um, which is our outdoor dining option and is one of the only restaurants on the island where you can watch the sun go down from the beach. And then we also have pastels, which is our poolside restaurant. So things to do in Bermuda, um, we have a shipwreck in Mangrove Bay where the guests can snorkel around or dive. Um, the less energetic may prefer an afternoon tea at the resort and um, or they may want to explore four of the private beaches or the hidden coves that we've got access to from the resort. And we also have electric vehicle hire on site so they can do their own island tour if they wish or they can do an organised one, which we could recommend. And I would also um, get them to go to Horseshoe Bay, which is perhaps one of the most stunning beaches on um, Bermuda. Our spa um, has, uh, it's just given you an idea of the sort of prices, but we've got, again, a lovely spa with um, an indoor pool as well. And um, yeah, it's, it's um, the children can go in here from 13 years and above. Um, and spa will take them above 16. So we do get a lot of um, repeat customers and we have a board at the hotel, which um, as you can see from the board on this slide, um, is people have perhaps been 35 times and we've actually got people who've been to over a hundred times to the resort. And one guest has been so many times, we've actually named one of the pink, um, the pink, uh, accommodations after them but it's a really nice feature that we do and we've also started doing it for our staff because we've got a lot of long-serving staff as well so we've got a board showcasing them as well so you can see how long they've been with um, Cambridge Beaches. So I'm just going to show you a quick video which shows the resort. So if you do need any further details, this is my 
email andrea at wendham.co.uk i will send you an email after this um event uh, or um when we get the email addresses and just to let you know we are doing some special events because it's our centenary this year and one of them is that we're hosting our first triathlon in november so if you have any customers interested in triathlon yeah have a look at cambridge beaches and that's it Super. Thank you very much, Andrea. Great presentation and a lovely hotel. It's nice to see somewhere a little bit different. Um, Weather-wise, um, when's the best time to go? So I think the shoulder period, so April, May, um, that sort of time, or the um, October, November. I personally, because it, there is a lot of humidity in July, even though that's our peak season. Um, our resort gets booked up as well, July and August. But um, yeah, the shoulders, it's really nice temperature. Super, thank you very much. Okay, we've got a couple of other questions coming up. Um, Stacey has, is asking, this is for Natalia, um, the resort, is the resort all inclusive? Yes, so, Serenity is all inclusive, thank you. Super, and in the, not in Serenity because it's adult only, but she's asking about the families in the Coconut Bay. Um, do you have bigger rooms for families at Coconut Bay? Yeah, we have the two bedroom connecting rooms which are available in Coconut Bay and those are available on request with all of the major tour operators. Super, thank you. Um, does Serenity cater to celiac or gluten-free guests? We can deal with lots of guests who have dietary restrictions. How we handle that is we ask that you advise us one week in advance of arrival of whatever their dietary restrictions are, if they're gluten-free, if they're diabetic, um, if they're vegan, if they're vegetarian, so they can be in contact with, um, well, the butlers will handle the communications with our chefs as to, you know, taking care of their dietary requirements. Super, thank you very much. Um, Hannah, Sarah's sent a message to you. Um, it's great to see your hotel. It's part of our FHR Amex collection. So thank great. you, Sarah. Thank <laughs> you for joining, Sarah. <laughs> um, okay, a question from Karen. It's, I think, to everybody. Um, do any of the island's resorts cater for LGBTQ? <laughs> Q at the end? Um, I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody, everybody does. So yeah. yeah, Serenity is adults only and couples only, but um, same sex or other is absolutely fine. Super, thank you. Are any of the results wheelchair accessible? Serenity is not accessible, unfortunately, because we have steps to get into the restaurants and we've got steps to get into the suites. We even have steps to get into the bathrooms. Okay, super. Yeah, I'd say Cambridge Beaches as well. It's difficult for wheelchair. Okay, Charlotte? We do have, yeah, we do have a few rooms which are suitable for disabled guests, but um, do check um, with our reservations team. Okay, yeah. so, and so, it's kind so, of well on the, on the limits, doesn't it? Because sometimes people can manage a step, sometimes they can manage no steps. So I think it's really important to speak to the reservations team to see. Hannah, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's similar to Charlotte. Um, we do have a few rooms that are um, suited for guests who are in wheelchairs. Uh, the property is very flat as well. And then we have wide pathways. So restaurants and everything are on flat ground. So it is quite easy to get around. But definitely speak with our reservations team because those rooms are limited. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Um... Lorna, you've sent a message, but I'm not sure who it's to. Um, you're asking, do you still have any exchange privileges for dinners? I know you used to exchange with Pompano. So does any does this ring a bell with anybody? I think it might be. Oh, you've gone off, Andrea. Oh, yeah, your volume went. Yeah. Um, I think um, we, we're not doing any um, dining around options anymore. Okay, super. Um, during the hurricane season, do you guys all have some sort of hurricane shelter safe place to go? Um, Natalia, I'll ask you first. Uh, yes, and then we also have our very own hurricane guarantee, which is um, on our website. Um, so yeah, our guests are absolutely taken care of. Super, Hannah. 
Yes, definitely. We have a hurricane plan in place, a general emergency plan in place, and there's designated safe areas on the property. Um, but as I mentioned, we hardly get them because we're so far south. That's super. Thank you. Charlotte? Yes, similarly, we usually dodge, um, luckily, the worst of it. And we're actually closed during the um, the month of September, which is usually um, the highest risk month. But yes, we have a plan in place. Absolutely. Super. And Andrea, does I don't imagine they affect you, do they? The, you're too I far think north. They have had them in the past, but not, um, I don't get them that often. I have no idea, to be honest. OK, but they will have a plan in place if, if oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they will. There is, yeah. yeah, if there's a risk of them, they the will risk. have a plan. But yeah, I can't I can't see you having too much of a problem with hurricanes being no. that far. Up, but um, OK, uh, travel agent rates for 2024. Does anybody have them? Um, Natalia. Serenity, unfortunately, does not have advisor rates. We do have them at Coconut Bay. Um, the reason we don't have them for Serenity is because it's only 36 suites and it does sell out very often. However, we'll be glad to provide um, agent rates for Coconut Bay and you can do a site of Serenity anytime. Okay, super. Hannah? Yes, we do have some agent rates and generally try to direct those days towards our soft period. So in the summer months from June, July, and the beginning of October. Super, thank you very much. Charlotte. Sorry, too quick with the mute. The mute. Um, yes, absolutely, we do do agent rates. Um, again, we're quite a small property, only 58 keys, but just we do it kind of case by case. So just let me know when. <laughs> Super, and Andrea. Um, we've just started working with Touchdown and Staff Travel Voyage, so you can get agent rates from them for 24. Super, thank you very much. We also had a few questions coming in where people were asking for videos, content. Um, I think you've you've sort of made everybody want to be promoting your properties now. So once I've sent out the recording tomorrow and all of your contact details, if people do um, sort of reach out to you or, or even when you do the follow-up, if you can just put what you can share um, in the email, that'll probably be easier than sort of saving you all having to reply one-on-one. -on -one. And then if there's any further questions, then people can reach out to you. But I'll leave this with you guys to send out. So <clears throat> sorry about that. A big thank you to everybody for the webinar. So we're going to get to the point of the day now where we go to chat. Make sure you drop down, says everyone, and we're going to quiz you. So um, who shall I start with? Natalia. What is your question today, please? So I hope you're listening towards the end when I mentioned that Serenity has its own luxury wedding package. What is the name of that luxury wedding package? Oh, Carol, you typed very quickly. Wow. <laughs> that is correct. The Sapphire package is Serenity's luxury wedding package. Brilliant. Popping that down. Well done, Carol. Hannah, your question, please. Okay, hopefully it's an easy one. How many sweets do we have at Calabash? Very easy. <laughs> okay, so 30 and Emma was the first person. Is that correct? Correct. <laughs> Super. Charlotte. So my question is, what is the name of our private aircraft which connects guests from both Barbados and St. Lucia to Beckway? Aha, it's a tricky one, but it's <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, so we've got Beckway Air. Beckway Air is correct. <laughs> and that was Ushma. And last but not least, Andrea, are you thinking? No, I know what I'm going to do. How many times a week do you can you fly from Heathrow to Bermuda? Okay, so I'll just go up to the top. Sarah said four. Is that no, correct? No. no. Seven so days is daily. Ah, okay. Jenny said Faley, and I'm presuming she means daily. Will you give her it on that basis? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a complete and utter typing mismatch. 
<laughs> Super, loving it. Thank you, thank you once again to Natalia, Charlotte, Hannah, Andrea, and also to uh, your GM, Natalia, who um, is yes, very our exciting. GM and our hotel manager, the whole team, we had a unique opportunity today to come to you live, so we were very excited to take advantage of that. Thank you, everyone. No, it was brilliant. And don't forget, everybody, these guys are completely trade friendly. They want to work with you. Um, send your bookings for anything luxury. These guys ways and they will look after your clients for you. A big thank you. Um, we really appreciate you. So thanks a lot. And thank you to everybody for joining us. We will see you all next week. Have a great weekend. And bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>